I'm Tom Wood, University of Connecticut Libraries. Uh, and I'm going to talk about uh, uh, a little, little bit about uh, building a public interface on top of something that we call the we, the uh, DLF uh, ERMI uh, specification. Um, I'm not actually going to answer the threat of menace part of the title. I just like to see that in 72 kind of font. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, so uh, uh, what am I going to talk about? Let me give you a little uh, little background uh, to, to uh, sort of position this for you. Um, at UConn, we have a, a history of building a uh, providing public discovery interface for our databases. It goes back uh, a number of years, both for online and uh, CD-ROM uh, databases. Um, in uh, 2004, I think the Digital Library Federation. Uh, produced a uh, extensive report on electronic resource management, um, and that's the DLF ERMI uh, part as part of the uh, electronic uh, resource management management initiative. I think um, uh, if you're interested in electronic resource management, it is I think the document to read. It's uh, I think about 300 pages, and uh, there are 80 pages of. Uh, uh, a kind of a detailed uh, specification of entities that, that really looks a lot like the database uh, specification. Um, in, uh, and then in 2005 into 2006 at UConn, we built a, um, a homegrown electronic resource management system based on that specification. And then uh, in the latter half of uh, 2006, we did a, a redesign of the public interface so, so where we are now is we have a, a, a public interface that lets people discover these resources built on top of a homegrown ERM based on the, the, uh, the DLF specification. Okay. So a lot of setup here. <laughs> so, uh, and the last thing uh, is that if you go talk to uh, uh, ERM vendors, commercial vendors, um, I'm, this is a bit of a, a generalization, but if I don't make it, then I'm going to lose the setup. Um, they seem to generally view electronic resource management as kind of a back office function. So, um, uh, what, so what that left us is in this position that we, we were mostly interested in initially as a public, to support a public discovery interface, but we have a system built on this specification, so I thought that might be interesting to talk about, which is why I'm here. Uh, I'm going to give you a demo. These are actually just screenshots of our public interface. Uh, this is kind of beta now. Extremely simple. You see that there are uh, lists of top-level uh, subjects. Uh, it's a tab-oriented interface with not a lot of choices. Uh, if you happen to want to look up a database by name, you can click on by database name uh, tab. Um, if you uh, uh, let's let's take a look and see what you would happen if you clicked on biology. It would take you to a list of databases in biology. I'm going to point out a couple things. Uh, on the left, you see. Uh, database titles, short descriptions of the databases. The little red icon means that you need uh, VPN access to get to this. I took this screenshot in the, the hotel, so I wasn't on the UConn network. On the right, you see um, uh, a, a sidebar giving you information about the subject, uh, the ability to uh, drill down into subtopics. Um, and then at the bottom, you see, sorry, you see uh, uh, the, uh, some links to uh, subject librarians who could help you in some other, other resources. How did we do this? We reused the DLF uh, concepts where we could, otherwise we added stuff, no, not kind of uh, surprising. So what do we reuse? We reuse things like the primary entities, resources, interfaces, licenses, this is all in the specification. Um, and then to build the public stuff, we were interested in resource titles, descriptions, and holdings. That's how that, that interface was constructed. Uh, access info like what's the URL to get to the database. Um, uh, the specification calls for the ability to have advisory notes so we can put up a note saying a uh, database is unavailable and unavailable if we have information from the vendor, uh, things about the access <coughs> restriction. And then we added uh, subjects which are arranged in hierarchy, uh, including weights, uh, uh, links associated with the subjects, which you saw before, resource to subject relationships. That's how we, we did the big cataloging. Um, and then uh, uh, an interesting little bit on license notification. Um, and uh, this is what the back end kind of interface to that looks like, uh, how one edits the subject and associates links uh, to it. Uh, 
that's it. Uh, this is the, uh, we like the teams at UConn, so uh, we had uh, a lot of people uh, involved with us. So. And I'm just out of time. Can I ask a, ask a question for? Uh, yeah, somebody else. Sure. Any, any questions? Go ahead and head up. Okay. Thank you very much.